Ladies and gentlemen, parents and graduates, welcome to the graduation ceremony of 2020. It's not quite the celebration you've always dreamed of. Yet the coronavirus pandemic has caused many graduation ceremonies to be replaced with virtual alternatives. So congratulations to class 2020, you have made it. First, we would like to welcome Professor Dr. Mahmoud Mohidzin, President of Forest University in Alexandria. Abnai wa banati al-khirrigin, as-sada awliya al-umur min al-abai wa al-ummahat, yus'iduni wa yusharrifuni an urahib bikum fi yawm al-takharruk, kama yus'iduni an anqil ilaykum tahani wa tahiyyat al-muhandis ala ragab ra'is majlis al-umana. Naktami' al-yawm لنحتفل بتخرج دفعة عشرين عشرين من كليات الجامعة وحصولكم على الدرجة العلمية الأولى بعد كفاح وجهد متواصل دام ما يقرب من عشرين عام في مراحل التعليم المختلفة آخرها أربعة أو خمس سنوات في جامعة في مدرجات ومعامل جامعة فارس أبنائي وبناتي الخريجين عليكم أن تفتخروا أنكم خريجو جامعة فارس وأن تكونوا خير سفراء للجامعة في أماكن عملكم المختلفة وأن تستمروا في التواصل مع الأساتذة وأن تستكملوا دراستكم العليا فاليوم قد أنهيتم مرحلة هامة من مراحل حياتكم وانتقلتم إلى مرحلة الممارسة العملية والمهنية وجامعتكم تمد يدها لدعمكم في مجالات العمل المختلفة أتمنى لكم كل توفيق ونجاح وأدعو لكم بالتوفيق والسداد في حياتكم المستقبلية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته And now with Professor Dr. Muhammad Gaber Abu Ali Dean of the Faculty of Engineering Faros University Honorable guests, dear parents and graduates It gives me a great pleasure to congratulate our graduates from the Faculty of Engineering at Faroes University for the academic year 2019-2020. The Faculty of Engineering provides its students with highest quality education, internship, and academic career. It is worth mentioning that our strategic partnership with the Royal Institute of Technology, KTH, is considered as a value added to the quality assurance of our academic programs. We anticipate that our graduates will lead important roles in the development of our country. I cannot forget to congratulate the parents who provided their support to their children in order to succeed and progress. I wish you all, all the best. Thank you. Goodbye. Please welcome Dr. Minnatullah Gwaid, International Relations Coordinator of Faris University. To the graduating class of 2020, I will start with one word, congratulations. The word is far too simple to capture what this moment actually means. In light of the coronavirus pandemic, you missed out a traditional milestone of this phase of your life, the physical graduation. Although you may be disappointed, your class 2020 will be remembered as the most famous class in PUA history. You will never forget the unique circumstances of this year. The entire world is striving to graduate with you. You will have a unique story to tell throughout your life about your senior year for your children and grandchildren. We are here also, both PUA and KTH, to celebrate with you uh, what you have done, your achievements, and push you to start a better future. You are the seventh cohort of graduates of the dual bachelor program in engineering between PUA and the Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden, KTH. KTH ranked, is ranked within the top 10 engineering universities in Europe. Your PUA and Swedish lecturers dedicated long hours of hard work over the past years to ensure this program is delivered to you at a truly international level. I am glad to tell that our cooperation with our partner KTH has never stopped during the pandemic situation and both teams have been working very close together to sustain the quality of the programme. Special thanks to Professor Albanyanisen, 
the PUA KTH project leader, and Professor Mohammed Gabr Abu Ali, the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, who have led the PUA KTH project with remarkable commitment and persistence during this pandemic situation. I would also like to thank Professor Stephen Ashland, KTH Vice President for International Relations, who was keen to be present at your graduation, even if virtually. I also don't want to forget to thank our students, Ahmad al-Sheikh, Isra al Dallal, Islam al khouli Ahmad Maher, Yusuf Haini, and Reham Hassan, who went to KTH under the Erasmus Plus Mobility Grant 2019 and made us really proud of them during their stay in Stockholm. Congratulations to the class of 2020, not only for your achievements, but also for giving up your celebrations in order to contain COVID-19. You are having a great responsibility as individuals for the health and welfare of our country. Life brings opportunities and obstacles. Pursue the opportunities, be persistent and patient getting past the obstacles. As you embark on the journey of life, rest assured that you are armed with an education that will enable you to realize your dreams and build successful careers in the industries which you will choose to join. We are certain of one thing on this day, you will not let us down. Thank you very much and Alf Mamruk. It's an honor to welcome Professor Dr. Stefan Ostland, KTH Vice President for International Relations. Dear President of Faros University, dear engineer Ala Ragab, dear students and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, one year ago I enjoyed a fantastic graduation ceremony at Faros University. I'm sure that none of us present that evening could imagine that we just in a few months of time would face the worst pandemic since the Spanish disease a century ago. Very quickly, we had to switch to online education, online examinations, and online conferences. I have myself been teaching in Zoom, and I'm happy that it's been possible. But I'm sure that both students and teachers are longing for the return to the campus education and to campus life. On the other hand, the switch to distance activities have made it simple to participate at this year's graduation. It's an honor and joy for me to sit here before you and congratulate you to all, you all on this day of pride, accomplishment, and happiness. The most important persons is of course you, the new engineers, the new bachelors, but also big congratulations to those who, who have stood behind you during this journey, your mothers, fathers, siblings and spouses. This graduation is also the outcome of all your efforts and support. Today, on the day of your graduation, the journey of your career start. It's a journey where you capitalize on many years of hard work, with long days, many projects, and as you might have felt, an endless line of excellence. It's also a journey of contributions. All of you are the pride of your country, setting a new standard of education that many of you will benefit greatly from for the benefit of your fellow citizens. This may be within building of new infrastructure, developing of new software, design of new hardware, or wherever the innovation of your dreams leads you. This degree is a cooperation between KDH, the Royal Institute of Technology, Stockholm, Sweden, and Faro's University of Alexandria. This international program has been immensely stimulating to develop. It has of course provided us the opportunity to see the real beauty of Egypt and experience uh, the fantastic hospitality of its citizens. But most of all, it's been an honor to work with academics and staff at Faro's University. Working with you in the development and implementation of the program, has been very inspiring. We appreciate that you continue your efforts to develop dedication to put sustainability at the heart of the curriculum. Our cooperation has now been in progress for more than 10 years. And I must say, we are also proud of a day like this. We look forward to a bright future. Finally, at this moment, I think it's uh, appropriate to quote the founder of Alexandria, Alexander the Great. Nothing is impossible to him who will try. 
I do believe nothing is impossible for any one of you. Thank you very much and congratulations. With great pleasure, please welcome Professor Dr. Albania Nisan, KTH PUA project leader. Good day, Nahar Kum Sa'id, dear president of Fars University, dear colleagues, dear students, and ladies and gentlemen. First of all, a big congratulations to students of 2020. A big congratulations to each and every one of you for completing your degree. You know, the easiest thing is to embark a journey, but the hardest is to complete it. I also want to congratulate your parents, friends, families, and partners who surely have supported you in your educational journey. At last, graduation is upon us. This ceremony is no other in Faro's University's history, and you are like no other class in Faro's University. After long days, hours of studying, stress ahead of exams, and a lot of lectures, challenges with updating your study style, you have now graduated. You know, but the journey of your education doesn't finish here. Life, employment, and everything from here and forward is also part of your education. You have to learn to interact with other people, learn to communicate, learn to work with colleagues, and be working with projects that impact the life, lives of other people. For many, of us, the year 2020 and the pandemic has brought new challenges and opportunities. It has brought major changes in our lives and the way we conduct our lives, both with regards to work, studying, communicating, and meeting other people. For many of you, it might be a source of anxiety. What does the future hold for me? I want to stress this point very strongly. You have faith and confidence in yourselves and your abilities. By graduating from Faros, you are not only graduating with a high degree of quality in your education, but you have also proven that you are capable of being tenacious, determined, and strong-willed. These are characteristics of your personality that will make you continue on your life journey wherever the future holds. And this goes for all of you, dear students. Always remember that in every challenge, there are opportunities. Perhaps is, this is an opportunity for us to engineer, to think, more sustainably about the world we live in, or perhaps uh, this is opportunity to improve the safety of people in general. And either way, I want to tell you that the future is unknown, but it's up to you to create it. And now you have the academic achievements to accomplish this. To all my dear colleagues from Faros University, it has been an honor working with you and development and implementation of the program. I am truly honored to be working with you. I know this year has not only been different for the students, but also for you. And I want to commend you all for the efforts behind the scene. Finally, I wish to congratulate all students and their relatives on this joyful day. I am proud of all of you. I sincerely wish you great success and safe opportunity where you can celebrate your successes, but with a minimum of one meter distance. I'm counting on all of you to keep your eyes open and find the right path in your career and make a big positive impact. And please don't forget to keep in touch, come back and tell us about your success. Finally, congratulations. 
ألف ألف مبروك أتمنى لكم السعادة والفرح والموفقية مع السلامة And now I leave you with the word of the first student of class 2020, Sara Adel. Dear professors and colleagues, first of all, I want to share my feelings with my fellows from the class of 2020. Congratulations, we made our day. Every moment in our life, we are facing new challenges, especially in this last year because of COVID-19. But here is a day we were all waiting for. Finally, we are able to graduate and become proud PUA alumni. The saddest part of the reality is that we will, we will not meet our beloved colleagues and professors daily as we used to. Graduating in 2020 was a big challenge. COVID-19 affected so much our life and thus our education system. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our professors, teaching assistants, academic advisors, and administrative staff at PUA, and especially the electrical engineering department, who has given us continuous support till the end of this journey. Online education is not a piece of cake. Blended learning education is not easy as well. Both require too much work from both sides. When I started my classes at the electrical engineering department, I heard about the Royal Institute of Technology, KTH, and was so excited for the international exposure with the KTH professors. Hence, I decided to work hard to make the best out of this experience. And here, I'm joining the PUA Electrical Engineering Department team as a fresh demonstrator, and I will continue my lifelong learning process. Most importantly, I would like to show my gratitude to my family and friends who might not be present here in person today. I'm really thankful to my parents for giving me strong inspiration, encouragement, and I feel their blessing in every footstep. Though we came here to study, but the learning wasn't confined to the classroom. We will always cherish and remember the moments that we had with our friends. I believe this friendship will continue forever. In our success over the challenge, no one will forget this special day. So, applause for the class of 2020. And let's make our today's achievement meaningful. In our new life journey as engineers, we have not to forget our responsibility towards our country. It's our responsibility to support it in all means through our professional life. Once again, congratulations and thank you. Now I invite Dr. Sami Darwish, Head of Strategic Plan and Resources Development in the Syndicate of Engineers of Alexandria, Assistant Professor of Electrical Engineering, Faros University, to cast the oath. جميع الخريجين خلينا نعمل حاجة كده بسيطة نحط إيدينا الشمال على صدرنا ونرفع إيدنا اليمين ونقسم قسم الخريجين أو قسم المهندس أو قسم المهنة. أقسم بالله العظيم أن أؤدي أعمال مهنتي بالأمانة والشرف وأن أحافظ على سر المهنة وكرامتها وأن أحترم قوانينها وتقاليدها والله على ما أقول شيء. Class of 2020, this moment marks the start of your new journey in your professional life. Wish you the best of luck and congratulations to you all.